Hi, welcome to Fish on Fridays. I'm Al McCauley. And if you're like me, you may remember going to Catholic churches uh, on February 3rd and having your throat blessed. The priest or the bishop would have two candles that would be made like an X put up to your throat and he would say a special blessing uh, so that you could be kept free from any kind of ailment of the throat. And you might wonder, well, why do we do that? And why do we do it on February 3rd? Well, the reason is we are remembering a saint, an early church martyr, a bishop and a physician named Blaise. So St. Blaise's feast day is February 3rd. That's why we do it on that day. Now you might say, well, why are we having our throats blessed? There's a story, a legendary story connected to the life of Blaise. And I say legendary, it doesn't mean it didn't happen. It just means that we have very little historical proof of it. Um, but the, the story is that there was a mother who had a small boy who was choking on a, a fishbone. And St. Blaise uh, was made aware of it, and he prayed over the young boy, and the bone became dislodged, and he was able to cough it up, and it saved the boy's life. And because of that, he is invoked as the, the saint that you would go to if you have any ailment of the throat. In fact, he is the patron saint of those particular doctors or physicians known as ENT doctors, ear, nose, and throat, because again, of that legendary story that he's connected with, that he saved this young boy from choking with this bone that was lodged in his throat. Now, you might ask, why the candles? Because Blaze didn't use candles when he blessed the boy. Well, because of the times in which he lived, Christians were being persecuted, and certainly priests and bishops were targets, and easy targets for the authorities to arrest. And unfortunately, Blaze was arrested, and he was put in jail. You can imagine this, this cold, dark, dank cell that he was living in. Well, the story is that the mother, whose child he had saved, heard about his arrest, she snuck into the prison cell a candle for him to use so that he could have light, so he could have hope, um, so he could see in his, his cell. And um, because of that, that was like a gift of gratitude, I suppose. But because of that candle that was given to him in a dark time, it's associated again with St. Blaise. And so candles are used, uh, unlit candles, of course, to put up to somebody's throat as a, as a, as a form of blessing over them so that they are kept free from any, any problems, any sickness, any ailment of the throat. Now, unfortunately for Blaise, he is, because he would not renounce his faith, he was tortured, and he was tortured pretty gruesomely uh, with a metal comb that was dragged over his flesh that would just, you know, make him bleed and, and rip apart, rip chunks of flesh out. It was really, really, like I said, gruesome and very bloody. Um, sometimes he's portrayed holding this metal comb because it was the implement of torture. When he would not renounce his faith, uh, he was taken out and beheaded. Uh, so again, he is a bishop and he is a martyr, and he's remembered every February 3rd. You'll also see him depicted wearing red because it's the color of blood, the color of martyrdom. He, he's dressed as a bishop with the miter and holding the crozier. Uh, and of course, always holding the candles to represent that initial miracle uh, that we remember him by, the curing of the young boy who was choking on a fishbone. So uh, St. Blaise, good guy to know if you have any kind of problems with your throat. Um, remembering, of course, always that any intercession, any miracle that we attribute to saints really is not that saint doing it, but God working through them is kind. They are conduits of God's grace, uh, but to be mindful of that. So if you know or love somebody named Blaze, if you know or love somebody who has uh, problems with the throat, you might want to pray with St. Blaze for his intercession for, for healing. Um, feel free to share this video with them. I'm, I'm always glad that people tune in to watch Fish on Fridays and hope you'll continue to do so. Please feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on Facebook. Those things would be great. Um, but until next time, please be good to each other and God bless. Mm -hmm.